In this video, I will show you how to create an animation trail using feedback groups in Pixel Composer. This video will be done on version 1.1.0 but it should work on every version with the feedback group as well. So let's begin by adding some animation first. Now that we got animation, let's start creating trail by adding the first feedback groups. The concept of trail is that we have to accumulate the previous frame with the current frames. So we can do that using the feedback groups. Now double clicking into the groups, the first thing we want here is we're going to have this loop, right? This loop will use to accumulate all the animation or all the trail. And now we need to have another input, which will receive the current frames. And we can do that by using a blend node. Now just by connecting this node to both of the input, we can already see that the trail start to accumulate as the animation goes on. Now the next thing we can do is we can make the trail fade over time. And we can do that just by adjusting the alpha value of the trail by adding the color adjust node. Then go down to the alpha. Now as you decrease the alpha, you will see that the trail start to fade out. The lower the alpha value is, the faster the fade effect will be. But what if you want the trail to stay for some fixed number of frames? Now we have to get a little bit more involved. And because it's quite complicated, the next node will also be included in the default collection of Pixel Composer version 1.1.0 as well. So if you go to the collection and then generator, you will see this trail effect. You drag it in. Now you send in the surface to both of this input. As you can see, now the trail stay by the fixed number of frame. And how to do that? The general concept here is that we modify this basic trail so that each pixel will remember which frame that it come from. By using these counter values, these counter values set to animation progress will start from 0 at the frame 0 and end at 1 at the last frame. Now in Pixel Composer, when you send in the number into the colors, it will automatically convert it to a grayscale values, with 0 being black and 1 being white. So if you add solid node with the input surface as the mask, you can then add it into the trail and it will record the frame where each pixel are being drawn. Now you can use threshold to select only a range of color that you want, and that range will be the current frame in this counter minus with some values. And this value will determine how long the trail effect would last. So the larger the trail value is, the longer the trail is going to stay. And now we use a gray to alpha to remove this black pixel. And there are also a color property that allow you to blend the color of this result image. Now this node does not include the original image. So if you change the color, you'll see that the trail will fix color. So if you want to blend in the original image too, you just have to add another blend node. And then add both surface. Again, this node will be included in the next default collection, so you don't have to rebuild this entire node group every time. Now because this have effect accept a surface as an input, so you can use any other animation as well. Like for example, a particle effect. Here just by setting the same surface twice, you can now create a particle trail and it will affect any kind of animated surface as well. So you can play around with the surface, you can play around with the node inside to create more interesting effects. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.